a relentless examination of determination and endeavour, evoking the true spirit of sailing. The 78th edition of the Rolex Sydney Hobart Yacht Race. An unsettled weather system engulfed the fleet overnight and into the second day of racing, leaving crews to battle erratic winds, lightning storms and rain squalls as they made their way down the east coast of Australia. It's been raining on and off, there's been quite a few storm cells come through over the night, so it's pouring rain at the moment, the boys are all looking very wet, I'm hiding in my nav station. Living up to its notorious reputation, as of late afternoon on the second day, 11 yachts have retired from the race, including line honours contender SHK Scallywag. With Wild Thing 100 falling off the pace, the RP72 URM group moved into third in the fight for line honours. Over the last couple of hours, we've been doing quite well. We're now slightly in front with Money Penny off our stern. I mean, the big boats are doing really well. All Connect and, and Comanche have just had the perfect conditions really for them. The tussle between the two leading maxis is a thrilling one, wrestling back and forth for the lead. Yeah, we've had a little bit of everything. In fact, the wildest was like literally 180 degree wind shifts. Uh, been pretty wild. We're, we're uh, playing cat and mouse all night long. Whilst the race record may be out of reach, the two leading maxis will duel for line honours on Thursday morning.